Greetings, everybody. Maximus here. Well, in a developing story, there are more setbacks for Boeing's 777X wide-body program. As Boeing has temporarily suspended its 777X test flights due to a problem involving the new monster GE-9X turbofan engines. The issue was found during an inspection of a flight test engine, so GE, along with Boeing, decided to remove the engine and send it to their test facility in Peebles, Ohio for engineering test runs. Both GE and Boeing confirmed the flight test pause, but have provided few details about the problem so far, especially if this new issue will now push back the plane certification even further. The priority now of both GE and Boeing is to find out whether the issue was limited to the one specific engine in question, or if it affected an entire production batch or worse if it's a design flaw. The problem happened during a test flight. GE said that a temperature alert was observed and the crew was able to shut down the engine normally. The specific GE-9X engine involved in the incident is the program's engine with the highest test time with over 2600 cycles and over 1700 hours. GE said they are closely coordinating with Boeing on their findings to support the return to flight testing. Both GE and Boeing said they reviewed the issue and out of an abundance of caution, Boeing has temporarily halted the 777X flight test program. GE added that Boeing's 777X certification program is already substantially delayed, with Boeing most recently in April pushing its expected first 777-9 delivery back two years to 2025. Boeing told the aviation site Flight Global that they are supporting GE Aerospace as they assess the recent GE-9X engine issue and will resume airplane testing once their thorough process and appropriate actions are complete, adding that of course safety is their top priority and GE and our technical teams will take the time necessary to support the reviews as we work transparently with our customers and regulators. While the timing of the discovery remains unclear, Flight Global reports that the flight tracking website FlightAware.com shows that the last 777X flight occurred on October 6th and involved a test aircraft with the registration N779XW, which is the first of Boeing's four 777X test aircraft. None of Boeing's three other 777X test platforms have recently been airborne. One flew last in August. One flew last in July and one completed its most recent flight in November of 2021. Despite the issue, GE says GE-9X development work remains ongoing. The company has been running a GE-9X in Peebles, Ohio in pursuit of an extended to an engine operation certificate. That testing should conclude in early December, GE says. Emirates Airline President Tim Clark told Aviation Week that if the problem with the engine was serious, it would hold up approval from the FAA for the aircraft, and this would push back the already delayed FAA approval for the aircraft. But Emirates, the launch customer of the 777X, still hopes the jet will be approved by the FAA by the summer of 2025 when Emirates plans on debuting the aircraft. The GE-9X engine has faced problems in the past during its development. GE delayed the first flight of the GE-9X, which was scheduled for February of 2018, because of problems with the high-pressure compressor and durability issues. That issue involved durability of stator vanes at the front end of the GE-9X's high-pressure compressor. The durability problem was causing exhaust gas temperatures to be outside of expected ranges, resulted in premature component deterioration. This led to a redesign of the compressor which delayed the first Boeing 777X by six months until January of 2020, when Boeing had it scheduled to fly in 2019. Emirates CEO Tim Clark said that they will find out on December 6th if the engine will be good to go or not. In other words, was it just an engine batch issue, or more ominously, is it an issue with the whole design of the engine? That would affect the ability of Boeing to get the test flight program restarted in January, as Boeing had hoped. Like I said, the story is still developing, but it certainly isn't good news for Boeing's new wide-body program. But I'll keep you updated when they find out exactly what the problem is. Well, that's all I have for now. But as always, I know you have comments. So you be sure to let me know down below.
And also don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus. <laughs>